Yeah. Hello, Life is Good Chiropractic family. This is Dr. Bryn Gillow, and I am here with the amazing Brian Bradley that I got to meet now several times at Tony Robbins events. And he has taught me so much, and I value his work so, so very much that I wanted to bring some of it back to you, back home to Pennsylvania, so that we can work on this together and get the best results for you to create your own best life. Okay. So I, I can tell you this right now, I'm already in love with her work because she's willing to look at the hands-on work she's doing with you, curious about the hands-off work that we do at Egoscue, and I'm born and raised in Pennsylvania. Let's go! Oh, yes, 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 yes. So I ended up uh, at Pitt my freshman year, went to IUP, moved to the Florida, set on enough with humidity, moved to the west coast of California. But enough about me, let's move on with you guys. We're gonna be providing you four exercises that are the Agoski Anywhere exercises. We're gonna give you the why, the what's, the when's, the how, and you know stuff about why I have your feet straight, <clears throat> excuse me, the entire time. When I ran into Pete Agoski 31 years ago, he was all about get your feet fist width apart and slightly toed in. So fist maybe a little bit less right there. Yeah, fist width at the big toe. At the big toe. Yeah, okay. because that'll yeah. line up your ankle with the ASIS and deep hip joint. Versus some people would say, oh, he said go hip width. But for some of us, like me with my mother's hips, I'd be out here like this, right? So I wanna think, where does the leg bend? That's where you really want your feet that wide, which would be about this width of your big toes. So why don't you go ahead and face the crowd here and get your feet slightly pigeon toed. That's gonna stay for the next three exercises. So what we'll be talking about is anything that we do up here with our arms, if you're not standing straight with your feet in this position, then you're not triggering a change, turn sideways, the whole body. You're not changing the mid-back. We're not trapping the mid-back. So what we're doing is we're gonna put your feet in a position where they don't move. That causes the deep hip structure, <clears throat> which attaches to the lower back, to do its job. Ultimately, making her job easier, allowing her to take your body to your next level. That's what this entire thing's about. Not, hey, she has to treat the same stuff every time you come in because you haven't changed anything in your lifestyle. So the analogy is this. You brush and floss your teeth when you go to the dentist or prior to because of maintenance. Think of Agoscu as the toothbrush and the floss. Every day you do it, your body is going to start serving itself versus my body's just giving up and it's working against me. Things are happening to me. We're all about things are happening for you. So as we were talking earlier, if you do your exercises, and then we put a big X through if, when you choose to take your body to your next level, which we're gonna hold you accountable, 30 days. your body's gonna have an amazing, compelling future. The 30 days will turn into a year. That'll turn into five years. Don't Welcome. scare them with all of this. We're just starting with 30 days. Go with 30 days, and then we're, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you're gonna get addicted to this because the results speak for themselves. It's going to be amazing. Welcome to the Agoscu Method.